Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with the edit. I hope you've had a nice week. Um, before I get started, apologies about last week's video. I don't know what happened, but there's a bit of me editing at the beginning where I'm zooming in and out and luckily not swearing, but I forgot to, I got the like start wrong and I started again. So apologies if you had to watch me like gibber around. Luckily I wasn't swearing, I have to say, because that does happen quite a lot. Um, and secondly, it's, this is a preemptive apology. I have, it's now 11 o'clock in the morning and my son woke up at four and I, I'm not sure if I'm going to speak complete gibberish. So apologies if I am talking rubbish, but I will be back to normal next week. But yes, I'm feeling a little, um, yeah, toddlers, tricky, tricky little mon monsters, aren't they? So yeah, he was just up for the day at four um, and I was not ready for the day at four. Anyway, I've got some good stuff to talk to you about this week. So before I get started on sewing patterns, I've actually got a, a new product that we've got on the site and it's something that Rachel and I, ha literally actually most of the team now have them, completely and utterly swear by. This is like if I had my like desert island disc of sewing, items that I would like you know save from the waves this would be the top thing this is the most useful thing that we have and we Rachel and I got given this and I pro I don't think I'd ever bought these because I don't I wouldn't looking at them they're from Fiskars um I I probably wouldn't have picked them up and thought all oh, these would be like these are what I want to, to use but we got given them um I think I got given these nearly maybe eight years ago and I have literally never looked back. They are the best thing. So if I come in and show you them, um, they are super, super amazing snips. They are the sharp, sorry, mine look a bit sad because they're so old. They are the sharpest things that I've ever owned. They've got a really good little spring action here. So they're really, really sharp. The tips are super sharp as well. They are fantastic, obviously, for like cutting threads. The thing that they're really great at is you get really good precision with them. So if you're, particularly when you're cutting, you know, you're like snipping around a neckline, um, you they're just great. Or if you're cutting, you know, sometimes on necklines when you cut out little like actual little triangle wedges rather than snipping, they're just amazing. Um, Mel swears by them for quilting as well. So she uses them to cut down like seams on all of her quilts. They are just amazing. And uh, yeah, so as I said, I've had these for eight years and they do not blunt. They are as sharp as they were when I first got them. So We've added them to the site because basically we were like, these are our bet, these are our favourite things that we own um, for sewing. So if you are feeling like you need a new pair of snips, I would, I I can't even recommend them enough. They are, yeah, the best thing ever. And I have to hide them so that my partner doesn't steal them and use them to like cut bits of wire and stuff. So I would say that um, once you own them, you will need to hide them because people in your family will want to use them because they're so good for other stuff. But you know, like with our fabric scissors, we have to kind of keep them under lock and key. So yeah, that is available now. We've got them on the site. They are so wonderful. I can't, I literally get them because you will not regret it. It will be the best thing that you've bought for your sewing room and they are incredi incredibly sharp and fantastic. Right, on to sewing patterns, because I'm not supposed to be talking about products. First pattern we've got, although this isn't, is the Wardrobe by Me Balka Dress. So this is PDF only, it comes in a UK 6 to 24. Um, I really like the shape of this, I thought it was a really lovely one for summer. I think it's a good like cover up for the beach. I think you could also make it and it could be really smart. It also comes as a top. This sort of shape actually is one of my like favorite, favorite sort of styles. So it's got this sort of bib front. You can see um, it's cut so that it's empire line. So it's nice and loose fitting. Um, it's got a big sleeve, but it's quite fun. I really like the sample that she's got here where they've had a play with the direction of the print. So the stripes are kind of going down on the panel of the skirts and then on the sleeves, they're kind of going horizontally, which I think makes it quite interesting. There's buttons down the front. It's actually very simple construction and the top of it is, a version of it is really lovely as well. So I think it's quite a useful one. 
Um, this sort of style, yeah, I just love that sort of bibbed front. I think it's really flattering on loads of people. Um, yeah, it's just a really lovely one. So if you're feeling like you need a little like spring injection, I feel like this blouse could be really useful. And then if you like the blouse, you can make this, the dress for summer. Yeah, it's all a good one. So next up, we've got the Itch to Stitch Delaware jacket. This comes in sizes UK 6 to 34. As usual with Itch to Stitch, there are bus cut options for this, which is fantastic. So there's A, B, C, D, and double D cups. Um, and that's for sizes zero to 20. And then sizes 22 to 40 have B, C, D, and double D cups. So yeah, I they all, if you are looking for patterns of bus cut options, um, Itch to Stitch is one definitely to have a look at. I really like this jacket. I feel like it's a bit of a take. It looks like a sort of um, a sort of uh, workwear jacket that, that's more like fitted. And I feel like this might suit people who are, I know there's a real backlash against kind of sack-like, sack-like clothing, although I love that. Um, so I thought this might be a nice option for some people who are looking for a spring jacket. Um, quite a lot of nice details on this so as you can see there's a zip up the front there is a um channel sewn around the waistline so that you can cinch the jacket in there are pockets on um, the bust and down below the waist as well um two-piece sleeve which i really like it's yeah so it's quite an involved make actually for um but i think it's really nice I actually love the sample that she's made that's in a sort of either, I was kind of getting in really close. I can't work out whether it's like a faux leather or a, like a waxed cotton. And I was then thinking actually a waxed cotton would be really lovely with this. Merchant & Mills have some absolutely delicious ones if you're thinking that you would like one because I was looking at them last week. Um, so yeah, they're like nice. I feel like this is a really fun option if you're looking for something for spring. And again, great sizing and bus cup options. So could be a good sew. Next up, we've got two patterns from Helen's Closet, which is really nice. I love it when they do stuff that can be worn together. So this is called the Slocan Tank. I hope I have said that correctly. Um, this comes in a UK 6 to 34. Um, for sizes 0 to 22, it's cut for a B cup. And for sizes um 12 to 34 it's cut for a d cup um i liked this um it's it's kind of what you, you can make it in different formats so it's a very simple you can see strap top there are three different length options depending on what you'd like to make there is also which i think makes it more interesting for me is there is a option to make the bralette so if you see the kind of um view c incorporated into view a or b so that you can basically have like a little bralette underneath your top so to add a bit of extra support which i i really love those sort of tops that have a built-in bra but i thought it was a really nice one i mean obviously really simple i also like the idea that you can um, cross over the straps at the back if you'd like to um but yeah a nice simple so it won't take you very long and then to go with it she's got the nails um the Nelson pants, sorry, this is where my brain is starting to get fried. <laughs> um, so sizing on this is a UK 6 to 34. Um, then there are three different lengths for this. Um, you can see you can either have it long, you can cut it midi, or you can have it almost like just below, I guess, just below your knees. Um, they're made out of jersey, so lovely and stretchy. If I sh the line drawing you can see, I mean, such a simple construction, you could whip this up really quickly. The thing that I really love about it is this, the view A with the really wide waistband. I think that would feel really nice. I was also thinking, um, looking at it, that it actually, if anyone is doing, is pregnant, actually these could work quite nicely as maternity trousers with that big wide band. Um, that will kind of sits like on your waist so it'd be perfect um i think it's a really lovely pattern and just yeah nice simple one basically kind of lounging around the house which is what i feel like i'd like to be doing right now um next i have got a few patterns we've got about four patterns from waves and wild which have just come out i'm going to just talk about a couple of them 
and then I will put links to the other ones down below so you can go and have a look. Um, the first one is a men's pattern, which is great because we don't have loads of men's releases. The thing that I really like about this is it's a, a t-shirt, but it's like super simple to make. So if you'd like to make something for a partner or friend, um, I feel like this is basically an easy win and you're gonna look really nice for making them something. So it comes in sizes extra extra small to seven times extra large. So it's got a good size range on it. The thing that is great, if I show you the line drawing, you can see that it's got a grown on sleeve. So it's called the Dolman T-shirt, which means like Dolman is like a grown on sleeve. Um, there are three different length options. So you can have it cut quite short, a little bit longer, and you can also have it long sleeved as well if you'd like to. But I mean, you could honestly make this in an hour or two. So to me, this feels like, I mean, you've only got like two seams, no, four seams. This is where the tide has gone to, four seams. And yeah, it'll be super quick. So I thought that was really nice. Then they also, which Ways Mild do quite a lot, they've released a women's version of this as well. So this comes in sizes UK 6 to 36. Um, if you have a look at the line drawing, you can see it's very, very similar um, style, but it's obviously then cut on a woman's um, block. So it'll be kind of more in line with our shape. Um, but I liked it because it felt like not too tight. It felt like a good sort of staple. So if you're looking for a t-shirt pattern, this could be a nice one. You can make one for you and someone else and be matching. What more could a person want? So last but not least, we've got a really, really lovely wireless bra from Primrose Dawn. It's called Z Zen Zenita. I really hope I've said that wrong. Apologies if I haven't. If I haven't, if I have, if I've said it wrong. Um, sizing for this is a, is a um, 28 to 44 round here and then cup options are A to K. So it's got a really good size range. The thing I really like about Primrose Dawn patterns is they always have loads of different options within their patterns. So if I show you the line drawing, you can see there's quite a lot of things that you can do, different things you can do with the cup. So actually, if you just wanted one bra pattern, and because obviously, you know, you want to spend some time getting the fit right, but I feel like you could make this in so many different ways and it would feel like you're making a different bra they wouldn't look the same at all they all feel really different which i think is really interesting um there is lots and lots of nice details in this so i'm just going to read um what she's written so there's optional boning at the cup cradle seams which can add more support and um it's a similar fit to the annika wireless bra which is one of their other ones and so if you've made that before and you really like it, then this would be a good option if you wanted to kind of expand on your laundry making. And there's just so many options that they were saying with colour and blocking. And as I was just saying, with lots of, um, you could, I like the play of the lace and the plain. I just think, yeah, I think it's a really lovely pattern. So if you haven't seen this and you're feeling like lingerie is something that you'd like to um, embark on or you like making lingerie, then this is definitely worth going and having a look at. So that is it from me. I feel like I went through that at high speed. Um, I hope you found something nice to sew this week and I will be back next week, probably looking, hopefully looking less like a zombie. That is, I can't promise anything though. So yeah, have a lovely weekend. Bye.